Hey y'all, I'm Carolina Tony. Today the road brings us to the Outer Banks, North Carolina. And we are here at Chicka Co. We are at the Chicka Co. U.S. Coast Guard Life Saving Station from around 1911. Some of the buildings here are original, some are reproduction and preserved. We're going to take a look around and find out exactly what they did here. And we'll get started right after this station identification. This would have been the headquarters of the life saving st station. This was the predecessor of the Coast Guard. This room was a lounge that was used for the surf men and also a training room. Stairs. This goes to the tower. This is called a line throwing gun. I know it looks like a cannon, but they actually would put a projectile into the cannon, just like this over here. And it's in there hard, but. Uh, the projectile would be pushed in there and a line would be tied to it. And this is called a faking box. And it is done where when the cannon is fired, the rope or line is called shoots out over to the wreck. And here is a picture of a boat that would be stranded in the sand and they would shoot. You can see the line throwing gun right there and it would shoot out towards and over the ship or boat so they could secure it and pull it in or do what they needed to do with it. This is a, called a cotton flare box. Well, we're, I thought we were in the tower, but we're not. We are going to be though, and it's straight up. Let's give it a climb. Here's the, here's the first level, and there's more. But wait, there's more. And the next level is not quite as far, but we're up in the tower now. August the 16th, 1918, surfman Leroy Midget is standing and watch. The sky's clear and the ocean and seas are moderate. At 4.40 p.m., Midget witnesses an explosion occurring offshore about six miles southeast from the lookout tower. The alarm is sounded and a surf boat is launched, beginning one of the greatest rescues in the history of the United States Coast Guard. In the museum, there are newspapers and records. Uh, it tells all about the wrecks and rescues from 1874 to now. The Chicka Chicka Co. and the out in the kitchen. This cookhouse is from around 1911. Those eggs probably are not from 1911. This home was originally owned by Cornelius Payne Midget. The, he was the 
brother of the keeper, John Allen Midget Jr., and his wife, Daisy. It had been passed to Cornelius' niece, William Morgan, and husband, Palmer. He was commander of the 5th Coast Guard District, who was stationed in the area in the 1940s. This little road here would have been the access that the people that worked at the live station would use to get to the ocean. And that pole is a pole that would use to be, there would be a rope on that pole that would go out to the ocean. And here is an actual photograph of that happening from the pole on the beach out to the ship and pull them in. And when that wouldn't work, of course they use the boats. And a photograph of reenactors using the cart with the rope on it. And this is really neat here. A, di a diagram showing exactly how it works. a photograph of what this looked like back in 1874. The life-saving equipment would come right down this ramp of the life-saving station and they would go down this road, that pole. Now we're inside of the life-saving station and this boat would have been in here and it would go right down the ramp to be put in the ocean as well as this cart that had the line on it that would go from the pole out to the ship and there's a harness right in front of, on the top of that cart that the sailors or the people working on the ship would set in and be pulled to shore safely the original cookhouse from 1874 Go. Macomico was the first U.S. life-saving station and built and manned in North Carolina in 1874. Eventually, numbers of other stations increased to 29. Ten of them were here on Hatteras Island. The station's original location is now underwater in the Atlantic Ocean. In 2007, the station was struck by lightning. The damage has been repaired thanks to generous donors. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our visit to the Chicka McComet Co. Life Stabbing Station here at Chicka McComet Co., North Carolina. Pretty interesting. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a big old thumbs up. Be sure to share with your family and friends. But until next time, y'all have a good day.